Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Coob and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia showing you my brand new dustpan and brush but what will I do with it? Certainly not any cleaning, that's for sure I'm going to use the dustpan in the... I'm going to attempt this dustpan pour um, to tell you the truth, I've never really wanted to do a dustpan pour before um, it just hasn't been my thing that's um, rocked my boat but I picked up this new little dustpan and I thought oh, I think I'm going to do a pour on this before I actually start using it for some cleaning work so I'm going to give it a go um, and then I'll let you make your decision <laughs> of how I went so I'll let you uh, listen to some relaxing music while I do this background I'm trying to do a background first with the white and I'm going to put some blue and just swoosh it around so it kind of looks like um, not a tie dye I suppose just a, a washed out look for the background so I can try and create something with this dustpan pour so let's get on with it So dust panning in hand, I am just doing some, I'm just loading the paint into the dust pan but at this stage I'm pretty sure that I probably should have loaded the paint into a cup or a jug and then poured it onto the dust pan. I'm not sure, um, I'm just playing it by ear because like I said I've never actually done a dust pan pour before but I can tell you it's not going well for me and you will see very shortly Oh my goodness, what the heck am I supposed to be doing here? I have no idea. That shaking it about was just making it muddy. Um, the only thing I see positive in this is that I have got an absolutely gorgeous dustpan now. That is the best part of this particular pour, is the dustpan's gorgeous. So, oh, what does she do from here? I was so tempted at this point 
because I thought this is not going to end well it's just going to go muddy so I was thinking oh dear I'm going to end up pouring this off scraping it off but I'm just going to try and make the best of it and um, let's see how I go keeping the um, creative juices going I'm thinking 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 what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and you probably won't believe what I do but in for a penny in for a pound So, what does she do? Okay, I thought why not then use this failed dustpan pour as a background and hopefully it will make the whole piece look 3D because it's actually got three layers, hasn't it? The first background I did, the washed out bluey look, now the failed dustpan pour, and let's see what I do here. So hold your breath like I did. You know, I, that one that I've just blown out there is absolutely gorgeous. See, the greys, the steely greys with that um, metallic copper absolutely look gorgeous. So I was really pleased with that, actually. Um, it kind of looks, looking back on it now, so it sort of went muddy but it's a really gorgeous color it's a really gorgeous gray blue and um, I was really shocked how well it came out and I didn't need to scrape it at all and this one look is just looking so beautiful with the blues and it does look as though those big blooms are just floating there with the different um, 3d effect layers so I am absolutely loving this one i love it so um yeah just keep keep your eye out and see how you think i'll go with this one i should be trying something new but now my body's sick i'm tired of dwelling in the dark it's just that my heart can't take it i didn't know what it would cost me when i let you go i feel alone and i'm just singing mm. Should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm -hmm. It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go mm -hmm. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you Driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away Until we make up, I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you mm -hmm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know I love it I really do love it I kind of wish that I'd 
use that background of that um, dustpan pour to go right the way down the canvas so it, it was behind the both of those blooms but I absolutely love it and I'm very pleased with it but you have a look now at my um, well this has turned out beats. for something that I was definitely considering was a disaster and it actually looked really especially like definitely 3D but flowers sort of just floating and the effects of that um, failed I'd call it a failed uh, dustpan pour. I think I don't put enough paint on. I'm not. I'm not really fond of that particular technique anyway. But I just thought I'd give it a go with the dustpan because I had a new dustpan. But look at this. That's gorgeous. Just you know, trying to um, salvage what was a failed dustpan pour. I think this will dry beautifully and be a really lovely 3D effect on it. And this is my dustpan, which I'm just going to leave it to dry like that and hopefully pull off that whole skin off the bottom of the dustpan. But that's like a dustpan art in itself, isn't it? So definitely like that. Well, thank you so much for joining me again today, people. I very much appreciate you all. And I hope that you all had a good Christmas and New Year. And I'm back into my New Year in my studio and um, loving every minute of it. So until tomorrow, you lovely people, bye for now. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. Drive into your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself, I never knew how.